Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a churn dash block. Now this block has other names too. We're going to need four squares of a colored fabric and five squares of a background fabric. I'm using pre-cuts and mine measured five inches. To make this block, we're going to need some half square triangles. We're going to take two of our background squares and draw a diagonal line on the square. We also need to draw a vertical line on two of the background squares that's exactly two and a half inches because I'm using a five inch block. To make the half square triangles, we will put two squares right sides together, a colored block and a background square. So a quarter inch away from the line on both sides of the line. We'll do the same process on the rectangle type block, sewing a quarter inch away from the line on both sides of the line. And here are what those stitches look like after I took those to the sewing machine and sewed all those seams. We're going to cut these apart on the lines that we drew. You can use a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors to cut these sections apart. Once these were cut, I ironed them, pressing them open to the darker side. To trim the half square triangle, I use the diagonal line on my ruler, line that up with my seam line, then I trim this block on two sides first, then I flip it around to trim the other two sides down to four and a half inches for my project. Now to trim down these ones that are square and not triangles, I want to finish size of four and a half inches, so I'm lining up that seam on two and a quarter inches. Then once that's matched up, I can trim on two sides, flip that square around and trim the other two sides to get a four and a half inch square. I trimmed one background square to four and a half inches, and that will be the center square to this block. I took the half square triangles. Those go around the outer corners with the colored triangle facing in, and the half square rectangles go around the center with the colored section facing in. To finish assembly, I am going to sew the top three squares together the middle three squares together, and then the bottom three squares together to make three rows. To make nesting seams easier when we put these rows together, I pressed away from the center square on the center row, and then on the top and the bottom rows, I pressed towards the center. Now it's time to nest and clip these seams, and it's simply a matter of putting these seams together and feeling 
that the seams are meeting and butting up against each other. And because we've pressed that in opposite directions, it is easy to feel that when it butts up against it. My preferred way is to lay it on a flat surface and slide the top layer over the bottom layer until I feel that seam catch. Next, I'll take this to the sewing machine. I will stitch a quarter inch seam. Then I will press these rows flat. This finished churn dash block measures 12 and a half inches. When it's joined to other blocks, it will measure 12 inches finished size. Thanks for joining me today for this block tutorial, and I hope to see you back again very soon.